For Action News, I'm Anna Delosky. Why is it that politicians never talk about nuclear energy? It's a question we're wondering along with Forbes contributor James Conka. Why is it that clean, zero-carbon footprint nuclear energy has so few friends? Conka mentions a relatively new group called Nuclear Matters, formed of current and former officials, including EPA Administrator Carol Browner. The group, he says, wants to raise awareness of the artificial economic challenges to nuclear energy that threaten the benefits. We discussed this issue with ACTIA advisor Dr. Jerry Cutler, also co-author of our publication, Nuclear Energy and Health. What do you do when an industry has no constituency? Uh, that, that immediately rang in my, my head because I realized that the politicians here in Canada, and I'm sure in the States as well, uh, they need to get elected and then they, they support what the public wants. And uh, even though they, they may have uh, preferences, they may realize certain things. If they realize the public is fearful of something, they're not going to stand up and advocate it. Um, and so there's, there's where your constituency disappears. And for uh, more than 50 years, uh, this message has gone out linking uh, nuclear energy with, with the risk of cancer uh, uh, by virtue of the radioactive material that gets released uh, from normal operation and especially when you have an accident. And so uh, off you go uh, in, into uh, public fear and, and uh, panic. Uh, we're being pushed into issuing a, you know, potassium iodide pills to communities around nuclear plants because of uh, the consequences of the Fukushima accident. People have to uh, be ready with, for precautionary actions. So uh, that, that's where we're going. Uh, and uh, the more you do this sort of thing, the more fears you raise. So now you come around the situation where the plants get older and you need to refurbish them. And that needs investment, and the the governments aren't uh, enthusiastic to invest money in a nuclear plant when the, the public is looking at this and saying, uh, "Gee, uh, this is risky." And uh, there's there's two risks. One is the risk that people are worried about of safety, and the other risk, of course, is uh, the investment that you need to build the plant. Uh, we have difficulty estimating the cost because of a lot of the regulatory uh, uh, requirements that are imposed because of the radiation scare. Plus there's anti-nuclear groups uh, that uh, oppose uh, any nuclear project or even refurbishment. And so you have hearings, environmental assessments, and that delays things and ups the cost. So. The big thing was what happened in Fukushima. That, that's caused an enormous change uh, to what's been going on now. People are now distancing themselves more from nuclear energy because uh, the media and uh, the international reaction. I mean, Germany has made some fundamental uh, changes. Uh, they've cut back on some of the nuclear plants. They're being pushed by political parties, the Green Party. They have to get elected. And so they're, they're burning more coal and... Uh, I don't know. It's an interesting dance they do, where they, on one hand, say they're going to be more green, on the other hand, they're turning off nuclear plants and uh, and uh, burning more coal. To read more on nuclear energy and to access our entire publication, you can head to our website, action.org. And while you're there, don't forget to also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For Action News, I'm Anna Delosky.